The most popular thing is a pound of Dunkin' Donuts coffee in every box. Besides the Girl Scout cookies. It's, it's a tough between the two. But I think the, the Girl Scout cookies and the coffee are probably the main things because they're from home. So what we do is we send care packs overseas to the troops. It's uh, CAPS, it's calling all Patriot troop support. It first started with the local. We had guys that were overseas that were off of work and over there. So we started boxing at the executive board level and now we're up to this point and we have a bunch of people that help us out. There's the Girl Scouts, there's senior groups, there's the VFW here in town. Uh, the Carpenters Union has, you know, we've always been right there to do any kind of stuff like this. It's just a need for these guys to get this stuff. So that's what we've been doing. We just want them to know that we're here to support them. That's, that's our biggest thing. And our motto is, you know, we can't bring you home, but we would like to bring a feeling of home to you. You get deployed, you're 7,000 miles away, you're away from your family, and you're away from your community, and you're wondering, do people even know what's going on? Do they know that you're there? And then when you get that package, it's like, you know what? People do care about you. They are concerned. So it really means a lot. You know, it's kind of great because I was on the receiving end and I was wondering what went into that and now I can see how much care that the uh, Brings family has for the troops and also, you know, for the Girl Scouts and the members of the community that really do care. And we send a letter in the very top of this box that it's part of our daily life every single day that we're doing something for these guys, that they're not forgotten, that people are still doing things because it's not only the product in there, it's the morale that they're not forgotten, that somebody has taken the time of day to go out and collect up some stuff, whether it's just a new toothbrush, whether it's a real roll of toilet paper, uh, toothpicks, you know, these, these little things that we take for granted on the day that they're not getting. It was a godsend to get stuff from home. You know, I, I was one of the lucky ones because a lot of the people that were serving over there with me didn't have the support network that I have. But when you're over there, it's like you're on a different planet. And to get something from home and to know people that are back here are actually taking the time like this on a Friday night to pack boxes and take time out of their day, especially if they don't even know anybody over there, it's just huge. It, it really, it makes you go to bed at night going, yeah, I guess I'm not forgotten over here. It's kind of like a child that just kind of grew into something, you know? And it's a proud child, you know? We explain to people, it's like, you can't get the feeling that you do when you're filling these boxes. It's just unbelievable.